it's barely human and i'm gonna show you how to go from this to that i don't know why you want to look like that but girl i'm gonna show you how even if my name was natalie nunny but just do clinch and check me so we're gonna get the elf cosmetics the primer it's actually pretty good and it's actually really cheap so Girl, I do kind of recommend it. It makes your skin all soft. And then I do have my rag. Ow! Jump scare. Because I rub my fingers all over her. And yeah, so I am a man. So we need to color correct that beard. Because she's thick. So we're going to go in. And honestly, I use an orange and a peach. Because girl, my beard does not play games. She pokes out in like two hours anyway, so it doesn't really matter. The beard is just a part of the look at this moment. So yeah, we're gonna blend her out and the orange is actually really intense, so it just like turns into my like contour. Look how orange you look, girl. I'll show you on a second what I mean. But yeah, um, the trick to this is using your fingers to blend it out. It just makes it way better. And yeah, so after it dries a little bit, you want to grab your foundation, and I use a really pale foundation. Like, girl, it is barely my skin tone. Like, you'll see. Girl, I look like Casper the Ghost, but you know, I even have a brighter concealer. So, like, we're just going for that pale bitch look. Like, honestly, just use the foundation to match your skin tone. I'm just stupid. Stupid. I'm stupid. I'm a mess. Y'all don't listen to me. Like, my foundation is elf. I mean, not elf. I don't even know what it was. Girl, whatever. That's elf. Um, I just be using, like, the cheapest products I can find, but maybe one day I'll buy expensive makeup. But honestly, as of right now, that is not very much gonna happen because I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. Put your concealer on in the normal spots and, you know, blend her out with your trusty, dusty little booty boo. And then, after that, you're going to want to grab some of your handy-dandy brushes and go in on this contour. And honestly, it looks kind of poopy dirty like dirt on my face. But trust the process. That's You just got to trust the process when it comes to me, girl. Because I'm not a MUA. Um, yeah, using my fingers to put on my nose, then you want to blend her out real good because you don't want to be looking like someone smeared some, like, dirt on your cheek. Or you do. I don't know. Maybe you do. So, I'm going to use this random blush. Um, my mom gave that to me, so I don't even know where that came from. Probably Walmart. Let's be real. Um, yeah, so the blush, you want to blend her out real good, too. I do not put blush on my nose because that's giving, like, e-girl... And I'm not trying to give e-girl. I'm trying to give, like, scene, emo, goth, body, girly. And we do not blush the nose. Then you're just going to want to set your face, like, down. You're going to want to press that powder until you get popcorn lung. <laughs> or whatever it's called. You just want to get it into your system real good and smack your face and just go ham. Because you do not want to be looking dewy. You want to look matte. And like painted but yeah you're gonna get the excess off and then we're gonna start highlighting um highlighting is crazy because i use like three different highlighters i do like the anastasia glow kit um there is like um a random highlighter that i use um it's like it was on sale so i had to get it and yeah i just also put like three highlighters together girl i don't know it just makes my skin look like i'm sweating and i'm living for it um so yeah grab your black because now we're about to get real crazy look at that dirty ass brush bitch not the natalie nun smoke get out of here okay so yes you're gonna have to get like a really deep black if you're gonna want to do this because i don't use eyeliner i just use eyeshadow but you make it really big and it only works because I have no eyebrows. So you kind of just go where your eyebrows are and go right over it. And then you just like make it sharp. Like it gets stab a bitch. And yeah, and you just got to press it in. Like honestly, I sit there and just press the black in until it's like super deep girl. Like it has to be snatched, dark, sharp, all the above. Ooh. Oh, you 
I got it in my eyeball. Wow. Don't do that. Then this palette is so good. The Tarte palette. Girl, I dig into those glitters. Yes. Those glitters don't play games because they shine. I'll show you. I just put it on my finger and then you just press it on. And girl, she goes on like a dream. Like, look at that. Ooh, she's so pretty, girl. Yeah, and then you're just going to want to do that on the other eye, too. And just really press it in and just pack as much product on as you can. Because honestly, that's what I do. I just pack all the product on my face and hope it stands the test of time. But yeah, so there's the glitter. That's my favorite part. Once I got the glitter on, I'm like, okay, this actually doesn't look that bad. Because like, it gets scary out here when I'm doing my makeup. I'll be looking like... Me at the new backrooms SCP or something. And then what you're going to want to do is rub it all over your dirty ass rag that you don't clean. <laughs> and then grab another dirty ass brush. And you're going to want to go really in on the blend. Like, right on that top, you want it to be blended to the gods. Like, you want it to look like just seamless and just cut. That's the best way I can explain it. But yeah, don't be shy. Literally go in. You want to do like a little on the bottom to blend the bottom out so it's not so like sharp. You just want the sharpness to be on the wing. Then you're going to put some of your highlighter like in that inner corner girl to make it pop, lock, drop, and everything in between. Another dirty rag moment. Don't be shy, girl. The rag is fine. Just like wipe everything on her. Another dirty brush. This is where the makeup tutorial kind of goes downhill because my dumbass thought I should do eyebrows, even though I haven't done eyebrows in months. So I had no, like, practice. So I almost completely fucked my whole makeup look with this. Look how ugly <laughs> that is. Oh my god! This girl, ew. So that's when I started realizing, oh, I fucked up. It's really bad. Like, ew. Yeah, I think I'm out of my eyebrow era because I was like, nope, I'm going to have to totally take this off because it doesn't even look good if my hair is down. So I'm going to have to totally take off the eyebrows, which is going to take off my base, which is going to take off my highlighter. So girl, we're just taking a little detour. This is the realness. This is what happens when I do my makeup. I'm not gonna show you some Bitch, you look a mess. perfect little makeup tutorial, girl. I'm showing you the real bare bones. Look at that mess. Girl, if you don't get your shit together. So here I go trying to do some surgery on my look because girl, it's a mess and a half now and I'm <laughs> it's literally just all over the place. But you know, when I said trust the process, I mean it. Trust the process. I will I will come through. Trust and believe. So I do look a little crazy right now because my forehead is now, like, literally white. But I'm going to reapply all that highlighter again. And then I'm going to have to get that contour back and, you know, blend everything back together so it doesn't look like a crazy hot mess. Even though that's usually what I look like anyways. I don't know. I don't even know why y'all wanted me to do a makeup tutorial. Girl, my shit busted. But we'll make it look half decent, girl. So we're going to put some powder on that cheekbone just to cut that, like, warmness. And just so it can be snatched. And then we're going to go in with Miss Lash, girl. These are my favorite lashes. They are super cheap at the beauty supply. Like, literally like $3 or like $4 or something. And then that dark glue, ooh, she had some leftovers. That dark glue's really good too, cause it's like, it makes it look like your lash is just sitting pretty because it's a, it's a black glue, I don't know. I really like, love the black glue. As you can see, I am not shy with how much product I put on my lashes, cause when I put them on, they need to be sticking on my face and they won't come off unless I get surgery. Because, girl, one thing to know is if you have a full makeup look and you go out in the public and your eyelash falls off, you no longer have a look. You just look busted. Because the eyelashes bring everything together. Like, honestly, 
this whole look would be extremely busted without an eyelash but y'all y'all about to see Ooh. Look at that transformation. With the bottom, girl, it's giving cutesy spider bop. Yeah, there we go. We're getting somewhere, y'all. And honestly, I think I could have done better on this look, but this took me almost an hour and a half because I kept messing up. And y'all will see that I am about to mess up again. So, so oh, not the beard popping out. You know what we're gonna ignore the beard just don't look at her i tried my best to cover it up it's not funny <laughs> okay so rub everything on your trusty dusty rag once again and then we're gonna do my hair really quick because i like to do my hair before i do my lip because it kind of gives me more confidence like i'm like oh I'm, I'm kind of pretty now so like maybe i can slay the lip which spoiler alert i do not I fucked my lips up so y'all are about to see that firsthand but yeah for my hair really I'm just teasing up the back and then kind of just finding the part and I'm like ooh wait she's kind of feeling herself here like she's kind of giving the moment but then I was like oh yeah let me do my lips now girl are you gonna do your lips or are you gonna keep looking at yourself bitch oh I see I'm looking for it because my shit is dirty and I lost it I'm literally looking like the Joker with these big ass lips like why do I keep overlining it oh my god it's making me mad just watching it ew oh my god they just keep it getting bigger oh my god <laughs> that's when I realized I was like what the fuck is happening on my face right now I look a mess I was shocked honey I was in tears almost I'm gonna have to take the whole lip off and it's gonna take like my foundation off too and we're just gonna have to rock with it girl I'm gonna have to commit another surgery to put this all back together I didn't want to show y'all me fixing my lip because it actually took me so long but here's the finished look like honestly this is what you paid for this is what you get this is what you give thank you for watching boo I don't know, I just don't think this is like right for me. I don't want to do it. I want to go home. Like I can't take the pressure of it. But don't you think any job interview 